pick it up. I'm going to make this just let anybody pick up the word from the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me help you out. I, I, the word from the Lord is that it's, it's B. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let me get on this second. The, the word from the Lord is that it's B. Yeah. No, no, no. The word from the Lord is not it's going to be B. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Let me, the word from the Lord is not it's going to be B. Yeah. It is B. Yeah. Tell somebody, my blessing yeah. is B, yeah. and it's not. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now you got to say it like you mean it. Look at somebody else and say, my blessing are B, and they are they are now. Now. Ooh, now you believe that shout out to praise God. I'm not your hype man. I'm giving you a word for you. That's the complaint up in there. Man, let me think. God is, God is doing something. Now, he's been up to something all year. But, it, but now he's drawn back the curtains and starting to go ahead and let out what he's been working on. See, 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 yeah, yeah. It, it's been prophesied this is a time of exposure. And we tend to think exposure means all bad and negative, something wrong. No, no, no. God is exposing his blessings, his favor, what he wants to, his seal, what he wants to do in your life. God wants to, God is doing something big. Now, ooh, I think it's two words. I think it's two words. And, and the word is big, and the second word is I don't know if I got a church this morning. I, I don't know. I, the, the word is what? And what's the other word? Yeah. Lift up your hand and say, Lord, do me big now. Keep your hand. Say, Lord, I thank you that I receive my big receive my big now. I don't know. Lord, I thank you that my big Lord, I thank you that my big is now. Not tomorrow. Shout hallelujah in this place. Yes, sir. Read it. There is a word from the Lord. I want to be before you know we got a two-fold service today. Amen. Y'all take your seat. Yeah, yeah, I got a two-fold service today we got to do, and y'all excuse me, man, I've been spending time with Jesus. Amen. Amen. Y'all y'all pardon me, I've been with the Lord. Amen. Now, 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 if you've been with the Lord, you'll feel what I feel. Amen. And if you haven't, don't worry about it. It's okay, you catch on later on. Amen. I got a word for you. Amen. I got a word from the Lord that I must deliver. Amen. And the Lord told me, he said, son, tell my people, and the prayer team was so on point. Uh, oh, yeah. And by the way, hi, everyone. Facebook family and everybody, thank you so much for tuning in today. We appreciate you so much. We are going to do communion today, of course. Uh, we've been doing communion here briefly, but as I said before, we have a twofold service. What we'll be doing, of course, this morning is sharing the word for the, from the Lord regarding this month of July. And then, of course, secondly, this morning, we'll be shifting to an outdoor, uh, kind of an outdoor venue in which we'll be doing a release. Uh, for Robin, and some of y'all know, of course, some of y'all that are intimate and know my wife, Robin, uh, of course, uh, her birthday is on the 4th of July. And, and see, y'all thought the 4th of July was some governmental holiday. Yeah. <laughs> As I told you before, you need to thank her. We thank God and thank her for the fact that you <laughs> had to get out work and didn't get a chance to eat barbecue. Uh, all because my baby was born. Amen. You get the benefits of barbecue and off day. <laughs> because of my baby. Yeah. You need to thank you need to really be you really really need to appreciate her. You need to grab on them balloons and make sure yeah. you release one. Just for that sake alone, if not nothing else. Amen. Amen. So uh, this is the day that we're gonna release my baby. Amen. No, of course, we've already done similar things like that, but just another memento. We're gonna do some more. I mean, we still got the first, uh, you know, we got the first, uh, down the first mom day. We other holidays are coming. So nonetheless, yeah. we're gonna be doing that on the second half of the service, mm -hmm. amen. The first half, I have to deliver this word. I have to, open your Bible, don't give you time to find it. Open your Bibles to Haggai, okay. chapter two and verses eight and nine. And as I was saying before, we're all going to have communion as well. And we practice open communion here. You don't have to be a member uh, to participate. But we do ask that you be born again, that you know you're saved. Amen. That you know that you know you are born again. Amen. If you're born again, you're going to fight. Oh, man, but the word of the Lord, the Lord told me to give you this morning. It's an amazing word. Amen. He told me to give you 
I'm going to give you three words in particular, and we're going to talk about them more so over the period of this month. And of course, two of them is B, because it is B. And God's doing, I don't know, I don't know, before I jump, yeah, Haggai, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to give you time to find it. Uh, Haggai, we got it on the board yet? Haggai, I need y'all to help you, I need flow with you, okay? Yeah, thank you. Haggai, thank you, thank you. We're doing Haggai, verses 2, chapter 2, verse 8 and 9. Okay. That's going to be our first verse. Now, now, for some of you guys, what I'm about to share is going to be new information. Okay. For others, what I'm sharing is going to be confirmation. What I'm sharing for some is going to be something that you've already been experiencing in the month of June going into this point. And then for some it's going to be, oh, it's going to be a, it's going to be an awakening. It's going to be a, okay, it's going to be more prophetic in terms of, yes sir, it's going to be more prophetic in terms of what's coming. Am I talking too heavy? Yeah. It's going to be more prophetic in terms of what's coming. And for, and for others, it's going to be simply a word of knowledge for what they already know what is. Yes sir. Is that all right? Yes, sir. Okay, let, let, let me help you out. See, for some that I said big, that I mentioned big, for some of you, God been doing big already. Amen. I don't know who has God been doing. Give me a shout or a wave. Oh, yeah. Do it again. How many have God done? Oh, yeah. Now, those that God's been doing big already, for you it's just confirmation. Mm -hmm. But for you, it's, it's pretty much a word of. It, 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 it's, it's not a prophetic. It's not something in the future. It, it's something in the present tense. It's something that you already been experiencing. Yes, How many have been seeing God do big already? Hallelujah. You can see my audience, okay? Yeah, I see all the Facebook hands. Yeah. Raise your hands again, Facebook. Let me get a count. Okay. <laughs> now, now, for others, of course, those that, and I'm not going to ask you this. Don't raise your hand on this one. But some ain't seen God do big yet. Now, let me tell you something. One of the reasons may be that you ain't seen God do big yet. Well, maybe it's your perspective. I'm going to talk about that just a little bit. Not today, but I want you to adjust your perspective going forward. Because, see, what you fail to appreciate and give intention to, you fail to receive. Amen. Okay, let me help you. See, see, just the fact that God is doing big to everybody. He's doing it now. Because just the fact that you are alive and you can see me. Can you see me? Amen. You can hear me. Amen. Can you hear me? And, and you're able to come and go and move. So you don't realize I had one of my best buddies, one of my good friends, he lost his wife yesterday. In fact, all of this week I've been dealing with different death issues from different ones. See, 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 you realize you'll start appreciating God doing big when you start appreciating what you think is little. Amen. See, 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 maybe, and, and he, he's always doing big, but maybe you get more big when you start appreciating the little. Yes, sir. Maybe your big is too big. Maybe your big is a million dollars, where, whereas the other day somebody gave me, in fact, no, nah, no. Nah, the other day I went to a place and they gave me an upside some free fries. Amen. Now, because I was hungry, that was big. I, I, know, I, know, I mean, I, you know, I, because I was hungry, I said, oh, praise the Lord. I, I was appreciative of Chick-fil-A. I'm trying to put it to you. I was appreciative amen, that they blessed me. You see, see, when you're hungry, mm -hmm. and when you're appreciative, even little look big. Yes, and, and I'm happy that, that this is not the message, but I got to tell you something. Going forward in July, you need to change your perspective. Mm -hmm. See, the devil won't get you down, depressed, and some bumps. Mm -hmm. He, he wants to get you all low, and, and all. Hey, he, he wants you to think depression is normal. Mm -hmm. But I come today to decree and I, I curse that spirit. Amen. I see you know, some of y'all over here right now. I rebuke that spirit of oppression and depression. Amen. That's a mindset that the devil trying to trick you with. Right? He, he wants you not to appreciate who you are and what you already got. Amen. He got you counting what you ain't got instead of counting what you have. Amen. And you need to count what you got and stop counting what you ain't got. I think you got a lot. Somebody said my big. My big is now. But also my big my has to do with my thing. All right, Debbie, I'm going to pull me tight. Stay back here, okay? You got a lot to do. Now watch this, now watch this, watch this, watch this. Here's the word from the Lord. The Lord told me. He said, son, tell them. He said, tell them. Yes, sir. He said, tell them that what Haggai chapter 2 and verse, I'm going to use this. 
the Lord told me to tell you, the silver is mine. How many, how many need some silver? He got it. He, got it. he said, gold is mine. And just so you know who we're talking about, he said, thus, say, he said, say the Lord. Lord of hosts. Go to verse number nine. Yes, sir. He said, the glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former. Hallelujah. Say it who again? The Lord. The, who said it? The Lord. Said the Lord of hosts. He, he goes on to say, he said, in this place, Somebody say, in this place. In this place. Now, the place he's talking about is not just Remnant Church. Right, right, right. See, he keeps talking about your spot. Right. Hey, somebody say, my place. My place. See, in your place, God wants to give you peace. Yeah. See, in your place, he wants to do a work. Yeah. In your place, he wants to do big now. Yeah. No, 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 not going. Yeah. Now, 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 stop that bonus stuff. <laughs> Faith is now. Yeah. Stop that bonus stuff. Right. Because, see, that's still, you keep looking, looking for something, you, you're not going to appreciate what you already got. Right. Right. And so, 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 so he said. He, he said the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. Mm -hmm. In other words, hey, hey hear me now, hear me now. The second half of 2022 uh -huh. is going to be better than your first. Amen. The Lord told me to tell you that the second half of your year. It's going to be way better than your first. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The Lord told me to tell you that the best part of 2022 has yet to visit you. But it starts now. He said, the glory of the latter house should be greater than the former, said the Lord of hosts. He said, and in this place yes. will I give peace. He said, say it the Lord. The Lord told me to tell you that in the month of July is a month of release. He told me that in the month of July, and some of you have already experienced it, I've been getting prophecy. Somebody came to my office this morning. Prophecy had the same thing. But not just prophecies. I begin words of knowledge, dreams, and visions. I, I can't tell you my business. But God been blessing me. He's he been, he, he been really blowing my He's been doing some big stuff that's been blowing my mind. He's been giving me more than I thought and doing more than I could believe. And I find myself sitting at home going like, wow. But he told me, son, it ain't just for you. Because see, I sit at home and I feel like I'm his faith. I know somebody else. I, I sit at home and I feel like well, I'm going to be your favorite because when I leave the house you're going to be looking different. <laughs> look at the neighbor see if they're looking different. Okay, now look back at me. Don't look long. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's, and, and the Lord told me, he, he said, son, tell the people, he said, tell the people that during the month of July is a season of release and independence. He said, tell them that I'm doing a supernatural financial release and that God is releasing finances and favor that include debt forgiveness and big money releases. That's what he told me. I, I shot it at home. Me and the dog ran around the house. <laughs> he said, I feel like we got him kept going. I don't know. Amen. Yeah. He, he, he said, tell them, he said, tell them that the month of July is, is likened unto me cleaning out my closet of blessings and prayers that have been answered, but the people have yet to receive it because they simply wouldn't believe it. He said, now if they just believe it, I do the big now because I want to do the big today. I want to release the blessings today because August is coming and August is a month of new beginnings. 
said, it, he said, in August, I'm doing something new, but there's some stuff in July that he's trying to get to you. Yeah. There's some stuff in July he's trying to get yeah. off you. There's some stuff in July that he's trying to put on you. Yeah. There's some money he's trying to give you yeah. so you can free some debts. Yeah. There, there, there's some business ideas that he's already been incubating yeah. in your spirit, but he's trying to get you debt free, and if yeah. you just trust him, he's going to remove that big old debt so you can go ahead and step out of what he said in August, because yeah. August is new beginnings, and in August, he really going to cut it up. Yeah. He said, but right now, I'm doing something big now, yeah. and I want to release my people and free them to free them, succeed. Hallelujah. Thank you. The Lord told me to tell you. He said, son, tell me. He said, tell my people that in the month of July, he said, tell my people, he said, tell my people in the month of July, this is the month a supernatural financial manifestation. And don't limit it to just mailbox money. He said he's removing debts. You're going to look for the debt that ain't there. Yeah. Hey, 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 you're going gonna to ask the folks, I didn't pay it. And just shut up. That part. Amen. You You do your part. They got to do his. I know that. I get some emails. Hey, Amen. He, he said, tell the people, son, that July is a season of release. He said, because in August, he has some plans for your new beginning. He's he going to release you to make, he, he's trying to shift your dreams, and he's trying to make them a reality. But some of your dreams have not been a reality because your reality needs to be released because of the negativity. Yeah. There's a negativity in your reality yeah. that needs to be released in order for you to move on into the positivity of your future. Uh -huh. yeah. And the Lord told me to tell you that in the month of July, supernatural, super, super, I got to say again, super, this is, this means by his divine hand, not by you, yeah. by his hand, by his divine power, uh -huh. by, by, by his supernatural ability. Yeah. Now I say this, by his anointing, uh -huh. he's shifting and changing things into your favor. Uh -huh. And all you got to do is just obey and walk it out and watch him do what he do. He told me to tell you that the month of July, I'm sorry, he said, he said, son, tell them that the month of July, I'm releasing them, I'm giving them independence. Hear me now. I, 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 yes, sir, yes, sir. It, it's almost like the, uh, when they set the slaves free. Yeah, the, he, he said, he said, um, he said, I'm breaking chains. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. In the month of July. Uh, yes, sir. And not just chains of finances, but emotional chains. And chains of depression and even sickness and disease. He said, Tell them I'm breaking, I'm breaking chains in the month of July so you can run in the month of August. Come on, Psalms 102. Come on. I'm gonna leave y'all alone. I say, I say, I've been home, see, I've been home cooking. And that's what he's been telling me. I, I can't lay down for a minute, but I can give me a dream. I can't go no order but I somebody prophesy. Everywhere I go, I hear the same thing. Every time I close my eyes, he shows me these dreams. Yeah. And then I turn around and go to my money. Hey, I go to my cash out. Let me leave y'all up there. Come on, come on. Psalms. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking if you scripture, y'all good? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Psalms 102, verse 13. Yeah, he, 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 said, he said, tell the people, son. He said, tell the people, he said, tell the people that you, and I'm, 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 I'm repeating it because with repetition comes revelation. Yes, I want this to get in, I want, I don't want this word to be merely mental ascent. Yeah. I don't want it just to merely sit on the top of your mind yes, and be on the top of your head and sit in the middle of your ear for the moment and then come this time tomorrow, yes. you forget all about it. Yeah. I, 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 I'm being repetitive because I want it to get beyond your psyche and I want to get in your spirit. Yeah. I want you to get to where I want you to get to where where you ain't thinking about this word, that this word will remind you to think about it. Yeah. I want you to get to where when you don't forget the word, yeah. the word reminds you of what you forget. Yeah. I, I, I want this to get in you such to where when you find yourself dipping and slipping and looking down and scratching your head, that this word will come back on you. Yeah. And make you come up to what God's already said about yeah. you. Amen. See, God got his agenda. He just needs your agreement. Amen. 
Amen. Your neighbor, God, God already, already has, his has his agenda. He just waiting on your agreement. Your agreement. Will you agree with him for, to make you be it? Yeah. And will you agree with him just now? Amen. Say, Lord, Lord, I thank you, I thank you. that you're doing it be now. If you said it did, you would have said something. Yes. 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 The Lord told me, to, he said, son, tell them that thou should arise. <laughs> Psalm 102, yeah, 13. He said, tell them that thou should arise and have mercy. Hear me now. This is a time of mercy. Boy, you don't understand. I, I said the word Hasid. Hasid means uh, uh, over extending mercy. Yes. See, mercy is God doing good when you don't deserve it. Amen. See, mercy is when you should be in prison, but you at the house. Yes. So somebody didn't shout it. Don't worry about it. You got to shout it out. <laughs> mercy is when you know you did the wrong. And, and you never you, you, now you never said you didn't do it. Right. You, you, you're just concerned about the punishment that's attached to it. Right. But God said, no, my mercy, my mercy. overrides. Yeah. 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 I, I, I know, I know, yeah. See, see, mer see mercy goes beyond grace. Yeah. Mercy gives you what you don't deserve. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Hey, 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 hey. hey. You guilty because you did what you did, but mercy said, that's all right, I'm looking the other way. I got you anyway. Yeah. Somebody say mercy. mercy. Somebody say mercy. mercy. God is releasing you. Hear me now. This is a season of mercy. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 yeah this, the, here in Little Rock, the Little Rock Police Department got a, got, got, got a time that they do every year, I think, or sometime or another, called amnesty period. Yes, and amnesty is when, and they'll tell you, did somebody know what I'm talking about? How many know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yes, see, see what, what they do. Well, let me, this I know, let me tell y'all. <laughs> when you got a ticket or a citation, uh -huh. you know, and, and, and you ain't paid a check, yeah. and you know you ain't paid a check in this past due, yeah. what well, amnesty period means that what that, that what the sheriff's department, the police, whatever, whoever's whoever's looming this over you, uh -huh. they're giving you a period of time. It's kind of a grace period, but it's more than that. They're giving you a period of time to come down uh -huh. and just pay the small amount. Right. In fact, some cases they're negotiating with you even yes, less. Yes. They just want you to show up and own it. Yes. And when you do that, they'll forgive it and they'll yes. treat you as if it's never done. Yes. Right. Well, hear me now. In the season of July, Come on now. God is setting you up in such a way that as you walk out and obey him, you will experience his amnesty. You will see his hand move in ways where you will get favor and you will see his seed moving on your behalf. I'm sorry, y'all. I want to throw my glass. <laughs> Hallelujah. He said, he said, tell the people, son, thou shalt arrive, arrive and have mercy upon Zion. He said, for the time, y'all, I'm sorry, y'all, I'm sorry. But all I've been hearing, every moment, every moment, every night, is God just keep whispering in my ear, it's your time, son. It's your time, son. I, I, I can't drink my coffee. It's your time, son. I leave the house. It's your time, son. He said, son, it's your time and it's your season. Yeah. Now, I know some of y'all got a problem because once again, sound like I may be God's favorite. <laughs> once again, you may, and yes, he has my, he has my picture tattooed on his right arm. Yeah, right next to Jesus. Victor Wynn. He got my name. Yeah, he man. Somebody was like, you do? Yeah. <laughs> But what God is saying to you too, this is your set time to be favored. Yeah. You know? Thank you, God. Thank you. And favor ain't fair. See, favor comes because you don't deserve it too. Uh -huh. See, favor is a form of hasid. Yeah. And it's a form of mercy. Yeah. See, favor comes, see, favor comes when somebody just says, you know what, I'm gonna do you a favor. Right. Yeah. You ever, you ever have somebody say that? And when you hear somebody say it, you start smiling, don't you? You don't even know what it is, but you smile. Well, somebody about this. Think, no, just, but we're talking about God Almighty, right. the maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and that has the power over everything, runs everything, controls everything, does everything, can do anything, anything. that says he's going to, he said, this is your set time to be favored. Ooh, we. In fact, just in case you didn't react the way he thought you should, he said, let me repeat myself. He said, for the time to favor her, and he said, yay, the set time is come. Ooh, look at 
at your neighbor and say, my time, my time has come. Has come. Hallelujah. Wee, let me go ahead. Yeah, let me do. Yeah. All right, all right. Let me go on. Maybe I'll preach it to myself. Go, to, go with me to, yes, sir. Go with me to Deuteronomy 28. I got to y'all go. Who am I talking to in here? Amen. Oh, my God. Sure. And see, the devil been riding your head all year. Ooh. I know what that happened. See, what that happened, you ain't been meditating what we've been preaching. In terms of, I'm, 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 I'm going to close on this. I got to go. Give me some clothes music. We're going to shift to communion. But see, watch this now. See, you, see, the devil wants you to forget what you heard. He wants the word to slip. He wants you to forget about the word that was preached in the first part of the year. That, that he said, fear not. Rejoice. You remember he came out of Joel? Right. Right. Now turn to it, but Joel 221, mm -hmm. and we preached it for a good month or two. Yep. And I preached on fear not, mm -hmm. rejoice, and be glad because yep. the Lord is going to do great things. Yep. Why would God give that word in, in, in January? In January, Because he knew June was coming, and you're going to be hit with some stuff right. that's going to be over your head. Oh my so what he was trying to do is get you ahead of the game right. by telling you in January, mm -hmm. because he knew what was going to happen in June, and he was trying to tell you in January, do not fear. He said rejoice. Get in the practice of rejoicing and being glad so that when something do happen, you ain't tripping. Amen. Right. See, 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 he been saying, he he been saying, y'all yeah, remember, he 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 he, he said he, 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 he said that he's giving you double for your trouble. Yeah. Now, yeah, Isaiah 61 and 7. He, he said, son, tell them I'm giving them double. He said, I know you're dealing with trouble today. He said, but if you keep going through the trouble, I'm giving you double. Right. He said, double is your reward. Yeah. He said, double, he, he double. said, double is your record. And, and, and what he was trying to do is keep you motivated yeah, and keep your spirits up and keep your faith high. Yeah. That while you were dealing with what you were dealing with, that when the set time comes, yeah. you can easily receive what yeah. you want to do. Yeah. Don't devil don't mess with your head. You don't play with your mind. He got you more on the negative than on the positive. Thank you, Lord. He got you thinking too much rather than exercising faith. He got you more in fear than in faith. And now we got to work a little bit. But I'm, I'm here for that. And we're going to get you there. But you know what? The first, the first decision to get in there, you got to believe his word. Amen. Hey, I can preach to you. I can prophesy to you. I can lay hands on you. But guess what? I can't make you believe. Now, you're going to watch me get some new stuff. <coughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're going to watch me get some new stuff. I mean, I, I, I'm seeing haters already. Yeah. yeah you're going to watch me do some things. But he doesn't go on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can be home mad and talk. Yeah, yeah. Watch this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Deuteronomy. Yes, sir. <laughs> Deuteronomy 28. Woo, got to pick this up. Yes, sir. Yeah, if I can finish here. Deuteronomy 28. Got to bring that up. Deuteronomy 28. And verse number 12. 13. This word bless anybody? Yes, sir. Deuteronomy 28. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. In verse number 12. In verses number number 12, we're going to begin that. Thank you, sir. While the men are preparing for communion. Amen. As I said before, the Lord told me to tell you, July is a season of release. It's a season of independence. Because August is coming. And when August comes, he's trying to prepare you to just step into your new. He's trying to eliminate the delay in any kind of a hiccup or a half step. He wants the shift to be smooth and like that. So, so during this month, he, he's fixing, it's like a plus issue. He's fixing it and making it smooth. So he told me to tell you this in Deuteronomy 28 and verse 12. He says, the Lord will send rain. I'm reading the New Living Translation. He said, the Lord will send rain at the proper time. It's the proper time. He said, and from his rich treasury in the heavens and will bless all the work that you do. Did you read that? Mm -hmm. now you got, now, now, you see, you're reading too fast. God just said he's going to bless all the work you do. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, said, he said, you will live to many nations, but you would never need to borrow from them. The Lord told me to tell you, hold up on getting that loan. 
I said, yeah. I'm, I'm going to stop and prophesy. He told me to tell you, hold up on that paperwork. Don't make that move yet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me see. Yeah. He said, tell them, you ain't got to sell everything. Because if you sell everything to pay something, what you going to sell next month to pay that? He told me to tell you. He said, he said tell them that I'm blessing the work of their hands. He said, but I need you to hold up doing stuff with your hands so that his hand can move and do some work. So you think it should have been done. You think it's late. You, you, you think God, it should have been done. You, you think, you think it, but it should be by now. And God is saying, no, I have a set time. And the set time is now. Hear me now. In this season, you rest while he works. Who am I talking to? Hallelujah. He, 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 he said, tell them, I will bless the work all the work of your hands. He said, you will lend to many nations, but you will never need to borrow from them. Now watch this. Here's your key. Here's your key. I'm going to close on this point. If you listen to these commands of the Lord your God that I'm giving you today, and if you carefully obey them, the Lord will make you the... I'm sorry. Yeah. The Lord will make you the head and not the and you will always be on on top and never at the bottom. If you receive that word, come on. I don't know. <laughs> Jesus. So, so here at Remnant Church, we of course practice open communion, but we do also want you want you to go ahead and sow into the word. See, now one thing is this, the devil has tricked some of you to where you don't tithe no more, you don't give no more. I want to challenge you today to begin to tithe. No, no, not just give what's comfortable, but begin to tithe and give to God once again. You see, tithing gets God involved in your finances. Can I tell you something about tithing? Tithing also has supernatural benefits, because when you know you're tithing, it activates a, 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 a sense of peace, in your spirit and in your soul about your situation. When you know that you have done what God told you to do, when you know that you've obeyed God and done what he said, it gives you a sense of peace and confidence even in the midst of chaos because you know that you've done what God said and you know that God keeps his word. Because the Lord said that when you bring the tithes and offer to the storehouse, that he will rebuke the devourer for your sake. He said, he, he said, when you bring your tithes and offerings to the storehouse, he, 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 he said he will bless you coming in and bless you going out. He said, he said, when you bring your tithes and offerings to the storehouse, that even the work of your hands and the blessings and the monies that you have would not go wasted. That he would step in and fix washing machines that normally would take up your little tithe money, that take up your, your gas money. And he'll step in and fix a washing machine for the sake of of you being a tithe. See, there's divine covenant protection that's associated with your giving. And not only that, but here's the bigger thing. It communicates to God that you trust Him. Amen. See, when you get committed and start tithing and say, Lord, I trust you, I'm going to give you my time. In fact, how many tithers in here? Let's raise your hand. I know who y'all are. Just wave at me. Yeah. Hey, has God ever let you down? No, sir. Has he always come through? Yes, sir. Has he always come through? Yes, sir. He always do, don't he? Yes, sir. And, what, and because of that, it gives you a sense of faith and confidence that even in the midst of chaos, you cool. Amen. Even when you don't done your best, because you have time and obey God, you just chilling. Because now you know, no, God, I don't made my move. I, I done done my cash out. Cash out, dollar sign, remnant seed. I done done my give the five. Give the five, little rock, at Little Rock, <laughs> Remnant Church, Little Rock. I have, I have done. I have, I have done what I'm supposed to do. Uh, yeah, uh, Remnant Church, LR at Yahoo.com. Y'all stay with me. Amen. Amen. Give for five. <laughs> Remnant Church, Little Rock. Amen. Cash App, Dollar Sign, Remnant C. Amen. And PayPal, Remnant Church, LR at Yahoo.com. And also, you can mail your offering to one one seven. 
one five Rainwood Road, <laughs> Suite A one. Somebody say one one seven one five Rainwood Road. So you gotta learn to laugh. And see, you, some of y'all guys don't know how to laugh yet. You gotta learn to laugh. So, so with that being said, Amen. We we do open communion, but once you get your offering ready, I want you to stand on your feet. And what you're doing, you're sowing into this word. In fact, everybody here that's going to partake of communion, we're not going to bring it to you. You got to stand up to come get it. So if you don't mind, stand on your feet. Amen. Amen. Lift your hands up. Yes, sir. Thank you, Father. Was this our own time word today? Yes, sir. Who was I preaching to in here? Who was I, 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 who was I preaching to in here? Amen. Uh, 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 who was that word for in here? Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lift, lift your offering up. Say one to the word. Lift your offering up. Say, Lord. Lord, I thank you, I thank you for giving me, for giving me seed, seed to sow. To sow. But, Lord, but Lord, I also thank you, I also thank you that because I'm, giver, because I'm a giver and because I'm a tither, your benefits, your benefits include, include divine, protection, divine protection that you're protecting me, you're protecting from, me from, the from the devil stealing from me. Stealing from me. Lord, I thank you, Lord, I thank you giving for giving me divine provision. Divine provision. Because, I tithe, because I tithe, you make sure, you make sure that, I that I always have, have what, I need what I need when I need it. When I need it. Even, when Even when it doesn't come Come in, come in the form of finances, finances that it'll show, show up in the form, form of faith. Okay. Lord, I thank you Lord, I that because, because I sow, I sow and, give and give to the kingdom, to the kingdom you, have you have given me the authority, the authority to exercise, exercise rights, rights and privileges, and privileges as, a as a king and a queen, and a queen here in the earth realm. So right now, in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus I, decree I decree and declare, and declare victory, victory over the spirit, over the spirit of, poverty. of poverty. Poverty, poverty, you have no place, have no place in, my in my finances. Poverty, poverty in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus I, decree I decree and declare, and declare get out of my purse, get out of my, get out of my pocketbook, get out of my, get out of my bank account. Of poverty, poverty, I rebuke you now and I release Abundance. I release abundance. Lack, 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 get back. In the name of Jesus, I command you to lose your grip of holding up what God has intended for me to have in this season. Lack. I rebuke you for holding up my rent money. I rebuke you for holding up all the seeds, all the return, all the recompense, all the blessings that are tied to the seeds that I've sown up to this time. Lack, get back. In the name of Jesus, I release my covenant angels to move, to go, to usher in my finances, my favor, my substance, my blessings from the north, from the south, from the east, and from the west. I command now the blessings of God upon my household. And not just in finances, but I speak healing. Receive I receive healing and not just in the realm of the physical. Hear me now, but also in the realm of the emotional. Ooh, lift your hands up. And I'm gonna that. Because that's what God's still doing right now. Yes, sir. Yeah. And some of the sicknesses and the spirit, the spirit of infirmity is trying to tie up some of you, and it's not so much your diet. It's not even a condition. Yes, sir. For some, that infirmity, that yes, that in, that spirit of infirmity is tied to your emotions. You gotta let some people go. Uh huh. You've been caring too much. You gotta stop the care. Hear me now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And here's a big one in July. Yes, sir. Because remember, God wants to work, but He needs you to stop working so He can work. And you can't do that unless you trust Him. You gotta release some people right now. Yes, sir. My goodness. See that about? Yeah, we're gonna do that in a minute. You gotta release some people. You got to release some things. Let's keep praying. So, Father, 
in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the entire month of July, you're doing be now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Starting from Revere and Obey the Ushers, we're going to serve communion. Thank you, Jesus. Begin to worship. You got to put that number here for something. You water your seed with worship and praise. See? see, 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 you water your seed by lifting your hands and worshiping God and giving Him thanksgiving. You, you worship Him for who He is, but you praise Him for what you know He's doing. See, you got to praise Him on credit. You got to praise Him like you already got what He said you got because you really do have what He, what he, what he said you have, but He's waiting on you to act like you got it before He manifests it. And you do that when you begin to praise and worship. And worship and praise. Yes, sir. You know that both somebody. I dare you to smile too while you're here. Please, I don't want nobody around me that ain't smiling. Can you smile, please? I know that both somebody. Sister uh, Sharon, here you go, man. You know, man. Put it on both somebody. Share it on both somebody. Thank you, Father. Give by way of Cash App, Dollar Sign Remnant C. Yes, sir. You give by way of. You give by way of. Give them the five, Remnant Church Little Rock, LR at Yahoo.com. I'm sorry, Remnant Church Little Rock, give them the five. You give by way of, you give by way of, of PayPal, Remnant Church LR at Yahoo.com. Now watch this. Now we're taking communion over this word. Now, what we're doing, if you would, those, in fact, has everybody been served? Amen. Does anybody need elements? And those at home, you can grab a piece of bread, some crackers, anything that's symbolic. Amen. You can grab that. Amen. So if you would, just should be ready by now. You can use water. You got to use juice. But what we're doing, what we're doing, the Bible says that we do communion in remembrance of the covenant. And what I've been sharing with you for the last hour is actually the covenant. It's God's promises to you. It's the provisions that God has set in order for you to have provision. It includes his protection, his peace, his joy. Everything you need in your life, he's already provided it. And what? And re the reason why he says to do this in remembrance of Jesus, because it's because of Jesus that you have access to the provisions. See, it ain't what you do, it's what you believe. It ain't, it ain't what you've done, it's what you believe. So right now, let's lift up the wafer. It's symbolic of the body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, which is broken, amen, for our sake. So right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we lift up to you this cracker, symbolic of your body. And we know, Father, that you were bruised for our iniquity, our sins. And that you were beaten in order that we may be healed. And, and you died so that we don't have to die eternally. So right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we partake of the body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And the Bible says that now it says that he took the cup. And our cup, of course, is, is grape juice in some cases, but it's the form of wine. And this wine is symbolic of the blood of Jesus. And the blood of Jesus is the most powerful element known to mankind. Amen. One drop of the blood of Jesus can wipe away a whole life of sin. <laughs> but not only that, the blood of Jesus cleanses your mind and your will and your emotions. We're going to talk about this later on. But also the same blood of Jesus offers protection. In Revelation 12, 11, it says that they overcame the attacks of the devil by the blood of Jesus and by the word of their testimony. We're going to talk about that next week. You overcome the devil by the blood of Jesus and by the word of your testimony and you love not your life but the devil. So watch this. So now with that information, when you partake of the blood, you understand you're not just drinking juice. You are activating a protective barrier between you and the world. You are activating a sense of peace and joy and completeness and oneness with Jesus.
because you have acknowledged this as the very blood that's needed and necessary for you to sustain your walk with him. So right now, in the name of Jesus, Daddy, we thank you for blessing us with your son. And we now partake of the blood of Jesus that's able to cleanse us, heal us, protect us from all sin and unrighteousness. Let's do it now. And now if you will lift up your hand. Let's lift them up to the Lord. Yes, sir. Yeah, say, Lord, we thank you so much for your grace, your peace, your love, and your joy. Yes, sir, I hear that. And for somebody today at the sound of my voice, you heard the set time, you heard all the things that were said, but the part that perked out to you was mercy. Yes, sir, that part resonated in your spirit and in your mind. And I want to make sure that at the sound of my voice, if you can hear me now, both in person and online, I want to make sure you don't leave, that you don't leave here condemned and feeling guilty or ashamed because of whatever thing you did do or didn't do. So right now, I want to activate the covenant of mercy and peace upon your life. I, I want to give you an opportunity to receive Jesus Christ anew. Some need to recommit. Some need to rededicate. Yes, sir. I know we're going to release Robin in a minute. But truth be told, if you really want to make my wife happy, <laughs> give, give, give Jesus your heart. Yeah. Truth be told, you want to make my wife happy? Yeah. yeah. You want to make her happy? Hey, 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 hey. You want to see her again? She's in heaven. Give, give your heart to the Lord. You'll see her again. So right now, at the sound of my voice, just bow your head. And if you're ready to receive Jesus Christ, I just want to just want to rededicate. Just want to get the relationship right. Just want to let God know you're coming back. And, and you better. And you want to do more. Just say, Lord Jesus. Forgive me of my sins. Lord, forgive me of everything that I did. And everything that I did. It's a long list, Lord. And you already know. So right now, so right now I, evoke I evoke your mercy. Your mercy. I, evoke I evoke your amnesty, your, amnesty, your, grace, your grace for my life. For my life. And so Lord, right now, so Lord, right now forgive, me forgive me and cleanse me. Release me, release me from all bondages from all of sin, of sin guilt, guilt, shame, and condemnation. and condemnation. And right now, and right now renew, within me renew within me the right spirit. The right spirit. A, spirit a spirit of joy, of joy and, peace and peace and hunger, and hunger for, you. for you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Thank you. Thank I receive it, I receive it. Now, now by faith. By faith. Hallelujah. 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 Just lift your hands up where you are. Yeah, yeah. Just enjoy them for a second. Just lift your hands up where you are. Yeah. Y'all back. Y'all back. Y'all connected again. Yes, sir. And it's going to affect how you treat people. The truth of the matter has been your thinking. It's not the folk. It's been you. But now Holy Spirit can speak to you a little bit. Talk to you about some things. He got a plan for you. Yeah. He loves you. And with that being said, amen. Lord bless your people. As we shift, and as we get ready to release the balloons on behalf of Robin. Yes, sir. And so right now, if you would take your seat for just a moment, I'm going to ask the men to sit. I'm going to ask Caleb to come forward. And what we're going to do, um, if we can, you know, if we can, in fact, let's do this. Um, let's go ahead and we can go outside now. And you can share your words. Um, this kind of impromptu, but if y'all would, I need some ushers to unloose the balloons. Because we're going to take the balloons outside. I need the balloons to be uh, taken off here. We're about to go outside and do the release, okay? And there's a few words that Caleb want to share, and there's one or two words that I want to share as well. Does anybody want a balloon? Who wants a balloon? To? If you do, come on up and get it. And I'll meet you outside. Thank you, Facebook family. At this point in time, we're going private. Amen. So thank you so much for tuning in today. 
We pray that something that's been said or done that's going to bless you. We want to encourage you to come on out, of course, on Wednesday night for our, for our 530 prayer time. And then, of course, we have Bible study at 630. And be sure to join us next week. Amen. We're going to have, we're going to continue this word. There's more to it. Amen. God wants to do something big in your life now. Amen. He has an agenda. He has a plan. He only needs your cooperation. So if you will, tune in. Stay tuned. And share this message with a family or friend that you know that's going through a little something. That needs encouragement. That needs a pick-me-up. Yes, share this like you would a cup of coffee. Send it on your messenger. Touch that share button in the corner and send it out to others that they may be encouraged as you were. Amen. God bless you and thank you again for tuning in.